This is Hawkalicious, a technical track created for the ESL competition circuit in 2008. Out of over half a million user-made maps in Trackmania Nations Forever, Hawkalicious is known as the single most prestigious map to have the world record on. With over a decade of competition, it has been home to battles between several Trackmania world champions, and battles with the pixels themselves to inch out every possible improvement. Because if you want to reach the top of the world's most competitive racing game, only perfection is good enough. Our story begins in 2008, when Hawk, the map builder, got invited to make a track for the ESL competition circuit. Sometimes it can be hard to pinpoint the exact reason why one Trackmania map is better than another, except as a player, you know it's true. It just feels better to drive. It flows better. Trackmania players often use the word flow to describe a good technical track, where the lines feel natural and great to drive, like the road ahead is intuitively exactly where you would want to go. In 2008, the mapper Hawk was one of the best at capturing this element of flow. His maps all received a lot of user-given awards on Trackmania Exchange, and he quickly rose to prominence as one of the top map builders in the early days. And when he was tasked to build for ESL, he did so very meticulously. Analyzing the track route of Hawkalicious gives a good perspective on just how much attention to detail there is in the map. The track starts out with an off-road section, and transitions into an uphill drift. Tiny block transitions like this make it much easier to initiate a slide. The following turn is calculated so that you can instantly go from full steering left to right to set up for the next drift, with no downtime. Afterwards, you drop into a checkpoint and go onto the road, where you're given about a one second breathing room to plan your next move. The upcoming section of the map is very narrow, as the road snakes in two daunting 180 degree corners. But despite the nasty appearance, the track flows incredibly well in this section. Then the track curves up into a double pillar drift. This is a design Hawk invented, and you see it in some of his other classic maps as well. Hawkalicious then continues on the grass, and the transition to the road starts another drift naturally into the uphill. It continues with a sharp left drift in the uphill, and the iconic ending section. Here a small dirt jump initiates a drift past another double pillar turn, where you drop onto the stadium floor and do a right turn into the finish. In-depth Trackmania map building analysis block for block might not be what you're most stoked about, but these underlying design ideas made Hawkalicious so pleasant to drive, and when the map was published, players could instantly tell. This was no ordinary competition track. This was special, and many players were eager to play it over and over again, quickly leading to a very competitive leaderboard. The first official world record on the track was set by Too Fast For You with a 5507 uploaded on the 25th of September 2008. Though in the beginning, records would trade hands often, sometimes even several times in the same day. But this frenzy would come to a quick halt in December of 2008, when after winning that year's Trackmania World Championship, Frostbule wanted to beat the Hawkalicious world record. On the 6th of December, he drove an astonishing time of 5423. In the early days, there were so few players with this level of car control and comfort in going for tight lines, that it would take a long time for the competition to catch up. Frostbule's run was perhaps the strongest world record from this era of Trackmania, as in the next four years of competition, the world record only dropped by one tenth of a second. 
down to a 54-13 by Carl Jr. But for a track as popular and hunted as Hockalicious, you really couldn't expect a greater rate of improvement. But like a snowball that takes a while to finally get rolling, these early records laid the foundation for Hocko to become a classic. Classic tracks have their own leaderboard on Trackmania Exchange, and holding the record on one is highly prestigious. To this date, only 700 tracks out of over half a million have gotten the classic status. And in due time, Hockalicious would become the most prestigious classic of them all. In 2014, anticipations were rising for seeing the first 53 second time, when Filkos tied Tala's 54.06 to the 100th. But in order for that to happen, players had to find the most optimal racing lines. In most corners on Hawkalicious, you have a lot of space to work with, and since there isn't a forced racing line, what's the best approach? Do you want to set up wide for more exit speed, or go tight for a shorter inside line? or maybe something in between. Looking at the comparison between Tala and Filkos, this becomes very apparent. Filkos favored going wide for speed in almost every turn, where Tala just took the shortest racing line he could. And even though it looks like they're playing two entirely different tracks, somehow they almost end up just about equal after each corner. Reaching the 53 second mark would require more than just precise driving, you would also need an understanding of optimal racing lines at the highest level. The rest of 2014 came and went with nobody beating the 5406. But early in 2015, one player was determined to grind until he broke the 53 second barrier, dedicating great amounts of time and effort towards it. It's a player you may have heard of before, Race Hans. As Race Hunt started his grind, his personal best was still a 5412 from 2013, but with two more years of Trackmania experience, he thought he could finally get there, though it would require a pristine run. On the 11th of February 2015, he had his first proper chance. Going into the ending, he was slightly behind the record, but with a clean drift, he inched out a tiny improvement. 5403. And instead of settling for just a new world record, he kept hunting. And just a few hours later, on that same day, he got on even faster pace. He built up a really strong lead in the middle due to an amazing drift around the pillars. And if he could control his nerves, this was 53 pace. Though most people would be happy with two new world records in a day, few things feel as unsatisfying as being this close to etching your name into history forever and missing the opportunity. Having gotten this close, Race Hans was going to get 53 no matter what, and the next day he got back on the grind, and soon enough he had another fast run and another chance to break the barrier. Fifty-three ninety-nine, just one hundredth of a second faster, but still what felt like the biggest improvement in the track's seven-year-long history. Hockalicious had been conquered down to the final second. Maybe there were still a few hundreds left to gain, but the community knew nobody would ever reach sub-53. But that fact somehow didn't deter the competition. As the news of this historic achievement spread around the Trackmania community, more and more players decided to go for Hawkalicious to see if they could beat it. And one month later, the player Neo managed to set a time of 5398. But unfortunately for him, this record would not even stand for a full 24 hours. Because the very next morning, Karian dropped a spectacular time.
considering how optimized Huckalicious was already, this was a massive improvement. Karian is considered by many players to be the symbol of tech in Trackmania Nations Forever. In the early days, he was considered the greatest of all time, and to this day, he still holds many world records on classic and official tracks. When he posted a time, everyone knew that this battle was far from over. Karian's record would stand for almost a year, but in February of 2016, Race Hans took it back with a 5392. Soon after, Karian and Hans would both be faced with a tough new competitor, who came seemingly out of nowhere. Pack is a player who started in Trackmania Canyon, and quickly switched over to Trackmania Nations Forever when people told him he would be good at that game. And once he started playing Hawkalicious, he was quickly climbing up the leaderboards. In the summer of 2016, he finally reached the top, when he achieved a 5391, beating Race Hans by one hundredth of a second, getting an even faster double pull turn in the middle, and the decisive difference being a tighter drift in the last uphill. Upon seeing this, Race Hans didn't waste a moment. He got right back to the grind, and two weeks later, he found himself with a chance to take the record back. Despite being visibly ahead as he crossed the finish line, it unfortunately wasn't enough to gain a full hundredth of a second, resulting in a tied world record. Hawkalicious was getting so optimized that the in-game timer rounding each run to the hundredth of a second wasn't precise enough. With so many great players in the mix for the record, the only way to win this battle was to get one knockout run. A run so far above the rest that others would rather throw in the towel than grind a hundred hours to beat it. As Race Hans was trying to reclaim the record, Karian would beat him to the punch, with a run that shocked the entire Trackmania community. In the very last corner, on the very last possible place to make a mistake, Karian was just a few pixels away from demolishing Hawkalicious, with an estimated 12 hundredth of a second improvement, which would be the biggest improvement in the track's entire world record history. Nobody had ever driven a 53.8, and Karian almost skipped directly to a 53.7. Karian almost transcended every tech titan every pro player and world champion that had played Hawkalicious, but his god run just wasn't meant to be. Though Karian didn't beat the record, he raised the bar tremendously. Everyone had seen the potential left in the map and knew how much there was to push for. The world's best players had all gathered on one track to try to push it one tenth of a second and reach the incredible 53.7. As 2019 rolled around, the record had been drastically improved. Most of the top contenders would hunt the map periodically, but gone were the days where someone could just fluke the record. At this point, the only way forward was sheer commitment. Lund would continue to hunt the map for hundreds of hours, even though he already held the record, chasing a pristine run. 
he wanted Hawkalicious to be the crowning achievement of his Trackmania career. And in June of 2019, he finally made a breakthrough. an incredible run all throughout. In a breakdown of his record, Lund wrote that he thought the perfect human run on Hawkalicious would be right around 5376. But with how refined they were at the map, that's a run where you'd nail every single drift absolutely perfectly, and the chances of such a run happening were slim. Trying to beat Lund at this point seemed ridiculous, as it would require not only great skill, but a Herculean effort to get a run where all the stars aligned. But nonetheless, there was still a player who thought he could do it. And that was the player Tasty. After two full years of almost exclusively grinding Hawkalicious, Tasty had tied the world record, with a 5380 of his own. But he had no plans of stopping the grind. He continued playing for the next three months. And on the 26th of June, 2022, Tasty finally got this run. Fifty-three seventy-six, an absolutely astonishing time, and a record that Lund proclaimed as the perfect run years earlier. And it truly was a near-perfect speedrun. Out of all the world records driven on the map, his run had the best start, followed by an incredible middle due to a strategy called the wheel clip, whereby going over the corner of the platform block, his car got pushed slightly to the right while still preserving full speed allowing him to set up for a much faster trajectory on the next corner, and he followed that up with a near-perfect ending. In his two years of hunting, he'd driven over 200 runs under 54 seconds, and 55 individual 53.8 runs. But this new world record obliterated every other attempt he'd driven, and after 800 total hours of hunting the track, he finally achieved what everyone had hoped to see one day. Hawkalicious pushed to the human limit. Perhaps this is where the story of Hawkalicious should have ended. But if we've learned anything from our past, it's that small events can drastically change the course of history forever. For over a decade, the world's best tech players competed on Hawkalicious in harmony. But that was all about to change when the Shortcut Nation attacked. As Hawkalicious got more and more prestigious, Many shortcut teams wanted to become the ones to break this legendary track. Attempts at finding a faster route had been made for years, but every search had turned up unsuccessful. Hawkalicious has 13 checkpoints, and to beat the record, you have to collect one every 4.13 seconds. With how far apart these checkpoints are placed, and all the scenery in between them, most shortcut players had put optimizing Hawkalicious out of the realm of possibility. In 2021, we had the introduction of the first tool-assisted speedruns to Trackmania. Tool-assisted speedruns, or TAS for short, are runs played by a robot that the player gives a list of inputs to execute. 
pixel assisted runs are made as a science to play tracks pixel perfectly and see where the true limits of the game lie. And in January of 2023, the player the Cuber made an interesting tool assisted speedrun of Hawkalicious, driven ever so slightly different from normal. Upon seeing this task, the community was in disbelief. 14 years of world record battles were about to be erased if any player could do this in a real speedrun, and members of the shortcutting team Fastest Way Only quickly gathered on an online server and decided to try it out. Driving a 53 second long track without losing more than 1.5 seconds to the tool assisted run as it climbs over walls and clips through floors with ease would be a big challenge but almost immediately, Fastest Way only found an optimization. By climbing the first wall at a lower point than the task, players found out they could collect the second checkpoint from the outside of the road without having to pass through it normally. This works because the hitbox of the checkpoint line extends a tiny bit outside of the block, and it's an amazing coincidence that played into their favor. With this strategy, Fastest Way Only could be as much as 2.5 seconds ahead of the tool assisted run, but afterwards they were faced with a big challenge. Bugging up through the roadblock would prove to be terribly difficult. You had to hit a precise angle such that the car got stuck inside the block, making the game try to push it out and up onto the road. When trying this in practice, in the majority of attempts nothing happened and the few runs that did bug through only have the cars get sent down into the abyss. Players looked desperately for a workaround for this part, but there really weren't any great alternatives. And despite that, the ending of the run as well, where the task wall bangs into a precise jump and quickly climbs two walls into the finish, would be extremely hard to replicate. Since often when landing on the first road, you wouldn't have enough speed or a good enough angle to climb the next wall. Going for this many difficult tricks in one run would require a daunting effort from the team. Before players got too far into the hunt, a project was also started to find the theoretical fastest path on the map. The possibility of one shortcut on a map might mean there could be more. Since the track has 13 checkpoints and you can take them in any which order you want, that leaves 6 billion possible combinations. Of course, most of these would be redundant but there's still far too many routes to test them all individually. To solve this problem, the player Jav had a brilliant idea. He made a spreadsheet where we tracked the segment times for every checkpoint combination, from 3 to 8, 3 to 9, 7 to 12, and so on. The idea was to treat Hawkalicious as a traveling salesman problem. A famous problem in maths where a salesman has to go from house to house in the shortest line possible. Or in our case, the shortest time possible. Jav ran an algorithm that would calculate all the reasonable checkpoint combinations and weigh the results based on the final time. And his algorithm turned up one route that looked very promising. Jav quickly made a tool assisted run of this new route and shared it with the rest of the team. The new route had the same start as the cubers, picking up the first four checkpoints the same way. But instead of having to bug up through the road, the route now headed to the final checkpoint from the intended way and drove the map backwards from there with a nice side flip on the fence to preserve speed. It then jumped out towards the double pull turn, climbed over one wall, and near the end, elegantly dropped down from one checkpoint straight into the last one and over the wall into the finish. This was Fastest Way Only's recipe for shortcutting Hawkalicious. Over the next days, most of the team played the map together in an online server, grinding for hours on end. Most of the attempts would be spent in the first 10 seconds, just waiting for a chance where the bug checkpoint counted and you had a run going. 
Many players were getting promising runs, often just missing one crucial trick to beat the record. And after two full days of attempting, on the 10th of January 2023, Rezo would make history when he got this run on the track. Fifty-three twenty-three, the first successful shortcut time on Hawkalicious. Just when the map had seemed completely optimized, a new route improved the record by 46 hundredths and put the map into a new era. Fastest Way only made a decision to keep this shortcut secret for a few days, while other members had time to get their own records with it, and it wouldn't take them long. The player Casper would get a 5296 the same day, and the next morning, the player Logic and myself both got shortcut times faster than Tasty's record. On the 13th of January, the project was finally leaked to the public, with seven new shortcut records. Many in the community were upset about this shortcut, saying the map was now ruined and the history erased. But others saw it as a fresh start for Hawkalicious. Everyone knew how incredible Tasty's normal way run was, and this route just gave new life to pushing Hawkalicious towards perfection in a different way. Tasty himself said some very reasonable things about his perception of the shortcut, and that to appreciate Hawkalicious, you need to see both sides of the story, as Trackmania Exchange only has one combined leaderboard for shortcut and normal way times. Whether people liked it or not, the objective in Trackmania was to go as fast as possible, and the battle for the new world record was on. The record of 52.17 from Link was already pretty clean, and it seemed like a low 51 would be a pristine run on the track. The possible time gains came down to how cleanly you could get the bug checkpoint, the various wall climbs, the flip, and landing in a wobble on the final checkpoint so that you could quickly climb the wall up to the finish. Getting all of these tricks perfectly seemed like it could take as long as optimizing Hawkalish is the normal way. If it wasn't for Reiso, who decided to speed up the process. On the 15th of January, Rasol got this incredible run on Hawkalicious. seconds flat, a new world record by over 2 seconds, executing everything to near perfection. And as it stands, that is the current record on the track. But I'm sure we'll see a 49 done in the future. Huckalicious has gone from an arena where past world champions in the technical style would battle for squeezing out every last hundredth, to a shortcut paradise with highly technical tricks to optimize it even further. It might be the end of an era for tech players hunting it, but it's the start of a new era for shortcut players. And perhaps in due time, something new will be found once again. But in my opinion, you shouldn't reject progress just because it goes against the way we've always done it, as this is exactly how records have become so competitive in the game's 14-year history. 
even though the track is driven differently now, Hawkalicious is still as iconic as it was back in 2008. And it will remain that way, no matter which path you want to compete on. Thanks for watching. I want to give a massive shout out to the patrons, I really appreciate the support. Also, I apologize for the lack of uploads recently, but you can expect way more documentaries throughout the year. If I remain healthy, that is, because I'm a bit sick right now. But thank you guys, I'll see you again soon. Have a good one.